Stephen, Carolyn, good evening. It is a very unfortunate situation in July. The city of Taylor lost 33% of their fire department just like that. Now they're in danger of losing another six. Now, as you can imagine, the citizens of Taylor, they're very concerned about this. And the fire chief, he is determined to do whatever it takes to keep his crew together. Scenes similar to this one are repeated in Taylor about 8,000 times a year. Last Sunday, about 2.30 in the morning, we got woke up out of a sleep to come outside because they were afraid that our house would be caught on fire. And there was real reason to be concerned. The house next door to Tanya Simoniak's had caught fire. It's only about 15 feet away, even closer when you consider the garage. How would you feel if that was your home? Could it have caught our house on fire? What if the neighbor lady hadn't gotten up to go to the bathroom to even call 911 at 2.30 in the morning? It, it could have been terrible. But Tanya doesn't have to wonder what if because the Taylor Fire Department made short work of that fire. But now they're fighting an even greater challenge. Like many of the cities in the, in the state and also in the country, there's some budget shortfalls that have to be dealt with. The department has already had to lay off 18 firefighters. Six of those have been given their jobs back temporarily. But when you consider the recent retirees... We're going to have a net loss of approximately 22 responders that we're going to have to try to deal with uh, pretty quickly here. The department needs money fast. The solution? It's a good vehicle. It served us well uh, when we had, had to use it. And now with so few firefighters, what need is there for this truck? So the department has decided to sell it. Would hate to see it go, but I would be happy to see people walk back in the door. So would Tanya. I think that there's a million different other things the city could do to cut back money rather than lay these guys off. And we are back here in Taylor, and there was a city council meeting today, and they were hoping to find a way to keep those firefighters without selling this rig. No such resolution was reached. And so for now, this baby is still for sale. If you know anyone looking for a fire truck, low mileage, one owner, $300,000. That is the very latest from Taylor, Malcolm Maddox, Action News. What a dilemma. You keep the truck or the firefighters, one or the other. Malcolm, thank you for the live report.